السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو آر آل فائن ویلکم ان تھرڈ سیمسٹر کلاس ایٹ سوشل اسٹڈیز آئی ایم ایس ایس ٹی ٹیچر اینڈ ٹو ڈے ویل اسٹارٹ اوور ڈے سکس اینڈ سیون ورکنگ اوور ڈے سکس ورکنگ چیپٹر نمبر سکس پیج نمبر تھرٹی فور ڈو یو نو دا ورلڈ وارس ور اے کروشل اہم ٹرننگ پوائنٹ ان دا ہسٹری آف دا سب کانٹیننٹ دا کاسٹ آف گوئنگ ٹو وار ہیڈ ڈسٹرائڈ انڈیا As a British colony, all its wealth was spent on financing the wars. Prices rose. Inflation means mehengai prevailed ghalibana. India lost hundreds of thousands of its men who were forced to serve as soldiers overseas. In addition, the indifference of the British to the Indians' plight, plight halatizar, disappointed the indians they felt that they had let they had been let down so many times that they could no longer trust the british the rise of indian nationalism comparisty nationalism is the idea of identifying people as a distinct group on the basis of their geographical location country religion or ethnic background ethnic nasli The Indians' earliest demand was for self-rule and freedom for India. The Indian National Congress, founded in 1885, started the political struggle towards this end. However, during the course of events, many Muslim leaders realized that a united India after freedom from the British would hurt their interest as a nation. The hard work of the nationalists paid off In 1947, after much bloodshed, khun rezi, and violence, two new states emerged on the map of the world. They were Pakistan and India. You will study the story of the creation of these two states in detail next year. Nationalist Leaders in the Freedom Movement The Qaidiyazm Muhammad Ali Jinnah Muhammad Ali Jinnah was an astute lawyer, chalak wakil, and nationalist leader whose foresight, durandeshi, and perseverance is the kamat led to the creation of an independent pakistan a separate homeland for the muslims of the subcontinent with his other nationalist comrades and his sister fatma jinnah at his side jinnah worked tirelessly through the pre partition years to make his dream come true he is known as the father of the nation and the qaidiyazm the great leader m k gandhi Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi was more popularly known as Mahatma Gandhi. He was the most significant leader in India's struggle for independence from the British. Like Jinnah, he too was a lawyer. He advocated vakalat karna, resolving conflicts, jhagde, resolving solve karna through dialogue without any kind of violence, warfare, jung, or the use of arms. His speeches had a moving effect on the masses because he addressed them in a soft, respectful tone and his messages were about peace, cooperation, fairness, justice, self-reliance and standing up for one's true rights. He was affectionately, Hubbat Se, known as Bapu, father among his followers. Now we will start our day 7 working. Chapter number 6, question answers. Our first question is, Why did the Indians have to take part in the world wars? Answer is, as a British colony, India had to spend all its wealth on financing the wars. They were forced to take part in wars. Second question is, what was the effect of the two world wars on India? Answer is, the cost of going to war had destroyed India. As a British colony, all its wealth was spent on financing the wars. Prices rose, inflation prevailed, India lost hundreds of thousands of men in war. In addition, the indifference of the British to the Indians' plight disappointed the Indians. They felt they had been let down so many times that they could no longer trust the British. Our third question is, explain the term nationalism in your own words. Answer is, 
Nationalism is the idea of identifying people as a distinct group on the basis of their geographical location, country, religion, or ethnic background. That's all students. I hope you will learn these questions. Take care. Allah Hafiz.